I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a technique to solve linear system. Question is solve the linear system y equals to 2 minus x and y equals to 3x plus 2. So whenever you are given a linear system first you should analyze it. We have two equations which form the linear system y equals to 2 minus x. Let me write it in the proper order that is minus x plus 2. Always write in y equals to mx plus b form if the equation is given in this form. Now we have y equals to 3x plus 2 as a second equation. As you can see, comparing both these equations, first thing which we should analyze is the slope. Slope of the first equation is minus 1 and y intercept is equal to 2, right? Slope for the second equation is 3 and the y-intercept which we also say is b is equal to 2. Now from these equations it is clear that the solution is y-intercept itself since the y-intercept is same for both the equations, correct? And slope is different, it indicates that the system will have one solution, right? So we have different slopes And that implies that we have one solution, right? One solution means that the two lines will intersect at a point, right? That means a point. Now, since we have same y-intercept, we need not even do any calculations or graph this function. We know same y-intercept means that the solution is y-intercept itself which is the point 0 2 so y-intercept is the value of the function at x equals to 0 right you could actually graph it and solve it right so if you actually don't notice this right in the beginning then what you will do is you need to graph your function and then solve it so the first one is let me call this as line 1 which will be minus x plus 2. Let us say that is my plus 2 for us. Slope is minus x. So that means we'll go one unit down from here. That's the starting point and one unit to the right. So we have a line which will be, uh, so when y is 0, x will be equals to 2. So basically it will be a line which will be kind of like this, right? So that is our first line and the equation of the second line is, let me write L2 for that, y equals to 3x plus 2. So 2 is the y-intercept and the slope is 3. So it's rising, right? So this line will be rising and it will be kind of like this. So you can see that they will intersect at the y-intercept itself, which is at Two. So that becomes the solution for the equation, right? The other method which you could have adopted to solve this question was substitution, right? So you could apply substitution method. Let me show you that also. We are not getting into elimination at this point since when the equations are both given in slope-intercept form, the best method to solve is either graph or by substitution. So we have y equals to minus x plus 2 and also y equals to 3x plus 2. So we can equate these two, right? So we can write minus x plus 2 is equals to 3x plus 2, right? And now we can bring the x's together and the numbers together to solve it. So if I bring x on the left side, so I get x minus 3x equals to 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. And here we get minus 4x equals to 0, or x equals to 0 divided by minus 4, which is also 0, right? Once we know x is 0, we can substitute the value of x as 0 and find the value of y, right? So if I write x equals to 0 in any one of these equations, I get y equals to minus 0 plus 2, and that gives me y as 2. 
and so we get the solution as x equals to 0 and y equals to 2. So that is how you could also solve the same linear system with the help of another method which is substitution, right? So we have learned how at times we can solve a linear system by inspection and uh, then we should actually analyze always whenever the equations are given to us and try to figure out whether it has infinite solution, one solution or no solution, right? And then we should continue solving a linear system. So that is what we learned from this video. Let's see some more videos and practice solving linear systems. Thank you.